Hi guys, this is Esteban again with uh, Caliber Creations here live from the Overland Expo West 2017. I'm with Ashley here from Moscow and uh, she's gonna uh, talk to us a little bit about the, the Moscow bag that we, the, the gear that we just loaded on the bike, the bike that we're gonna run through the Rubicon on later this year, Mark and I. So uh, let's see what we have here. Um, so Ashley, tell us a little bit about this bike and I mean yeah. about the, the bag. Absolutely. So this is actually the first time that we've rigged any of our bags onto a Ural, so it's really exciting for us. Uh, this is our Reckless 80 liter system. It's a rackless system. Reckless is a play on the word rackless, so it doesn't require any mounting racks or hardware, stuff okay. like that. Um, it is comprised of three dry bags and a harness. So the harness stays on the bike and uh, you have one dry bag on each side. This is called the leg bag. So one on each side and then back here, you've got your tail bag, a 22 liter stinger is what we call it. This actually converts into a backpack as well. There's some oh, backpack nice. straps back here. Yeah, it's okay. awesome for when you're on the trail. Because right. if you have to hike away from the bike or do anything like that, it makes it very convenient to carry your stuff with you. So you just pull the backpack strap out, connect it here, and there you go. You've got a fully You're functional backpack. Oh, so yeah, that's neat. your tail bag. And we call this a beaver tail. This is a really great stash spot. It, it, it can be uh, compressed or it expands really big so that you can fit extra stuff like sure. your riding jacket if you get hot in the afternoon or a wet rain fly from camping or stinky shoes or garbage, things like that. Okay. Um, so you just expand using these straps. Um, back here, we've got a map pocket. We don't currently have a map in here, but it just rips right off. I also, this is a neat travel tip, I love to keep my wallet in here so that when I get to a gas station, sure. I can just quickly rip this off and run inside and pay. Same Doesn't get travel. wet anything, you can put the passport or anything Exactly, there. passport, yeah. all of your important travel documents, keep them in there. Um, and there's also a little organizational compartment here. I like to keep my headlamp, small items, chapstick, sunscreen, things like that. Um, and then here are the leg bags. So when you take this top strap off, you're going to take the other two uh, connectors here and put them together and you pull this right out of the harness and we put a clear panel right here so that you can see the contents on the inside of your bag nice. and keep everything nice and organized Makes sense. Yep. Uh, yeah and then the the last feature here on the leg bag area is that we have a four liter sewn stuff pocket here it fits perfectly two one liter msr fuel canisters uh, or you can fit a two liter dromedary back here to carry extra fuel or hydration um, yeah, so that's uh, that's the rundown on the Reckless 80. And the website for the people to uh, ah. find this is Moscow.com? Yes, very important. The, our website is MoscowMoto.com, M-O-S-K-O. And where are you guys located? Uh, we're located in White Salmon, Washington, about okay. an hour and a half east of Portland. Okay, guys, now we are loading a second bag from Moscow to our um, Caliber Creation Zero Edition bike that we're going to run through the Rubicon. As you know, we have the... the Moscow uh, guys uh, setting it up, so we're gonna have them talk to us and explain us a little bit about the features of this other bag. So we're here with Peter uh, Moscow, and he's uh, finishing setting up this uh, other bag that he set up for us and this Euro motorcycle that we're gonna use to run the Rubicon. So Peter is gonna talk to us a little bit about the features of this, the name of the, and the model of this bag, and the features of it. Yeah, this is our Backcountry 40 duffel, so it's 40 liters. Um, and it's got a bunch of cool features. Uh, the first thing I'd point out, unlike a traditional roll top duffel, this is a double ended roll top. So your access to it is from the sides. And the reason we do it that way is that uh, if you think about a traditional top opening duffel, where you have a roll top and then you have connection straps going over the roll top, if you want to get something out of it in the middle of the day, you unclick your straps, unroll it, and then the opening is up here. You can't see anything inside of the bag, sure. so you end up taking it off, right. which is a total hassle. You just want to grab like a warmer jacket or something. And now you've unpacked your bag from the bike entirely. Right. So the double-ended roll top, you have access from this side and access from this side. So everything's really convenient. You don't have to undo any of your connection sure. straps. Okay. It's a double-layer bag, so it's actually two completely separate bags. The inner bag is a 22-ounce uh, welded seam vinyl dry bag, so totally impervious to water. And the outer is made from 1680D ballistic nylon, so it's super abrasion resistant, so campfire sparks, tree branches, rocks if the bike tips over. Uh, all that abrasion is, uh, happens to the outer bag, right. as long as the inner bag is, is uh, still intact, your stuff stays completely waterproof. Cool. So it closes like this, roll it down, and then there's uh, straps here, compression straps on the side, so you can tighten those down. Same thing on the other side. 
and roll tops. I mean, this is completely submersible level waterproof bag. So, and then we have another uh, compression strap, so you can absolutely dunk this in the water and your stuff will stay dry. Uh, on top of the bag, uh, we've got Molly webbing here. So this uh, Molly is M O L L E. It stands for Modular Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment. It's a system that's used by the uh, military to connect soft good accessories, multi tools, all sorts of different storage pouches. So you can buy that kind of stuff from Army Navy surplus stores, from the internet. Uh, we sell some stuff. Knife and tool manufacturers. They all sell sheets and things. Like that. The top of the bag, we have a big expandable beaver tail. So when you connect the bag to your bike. Uh, we're using our backcountry cinch straps here, and you can see how I've run them up underneath the beaver tail through the pass-throughs here. Uh, and the reason we do it that way is it leaves the beaver tail. You don't want the straps going over the beaver tail because this is your kind of expansion capacity during the day. So for example, if you take your jacket off and need somewhere to store it, you have this big stash spot for groceries, wet things, like if the rain fly in your tent is wet and rain the night before, you can tuck that under there and then hang it up to dry when you get to your campsite that night. Hi. Hi, Allison. Hi, I'm doing a video. <laughs> and you don't need the extra webbing. You just roll up the connection straps like this. We have these cool strap keepers. All the straps. Oh, sorry. And it just tucks around like that so you don't have flaps strapping around. Or flat, uh, straps flapping around everywhere in the room. Uh, inside here, we have a tent pole pocket. So we always encourage people to separate their tent poles from the rest of the tent. Um, it makes the tent a lot easier to pack. Poles don't have to be inside the dry bag, so you might as well store them outside. Sure. You can also use this for a fly fishing rod or fuel bottles, things like that. Um, also here we've got a clear document pocket. So this is good for it's removable. It's good for maps or at border crossings if you keep your bike documents in there. You know, so you usually have multiple. Yeah, yeah, money, all, of that stuff. all your documents. And then when you go into the, you know, you're checking out of the one country takes two or three stops. Checking into the next country sure. takes two or three stops. You can rip this off. Everything is uh, good to go there. Take it in. Yep. Uh, let's see. Um, Last thing I'd point out, these are our backcountry cinch straps. These actually uh, double as an emergency tow strap and an emergency tie down system for your bike. So if the bike, God forbid, gets stuck somewhere, uh, you can take those off and uh, turn them into a tie down. If you need to put your bike on a trailer, you throw it in the back of somebody's pickup truck, uh, or you can connect them together and make a tow strap. And they disconnect these. So as I mentioned, they go underneath the beaver tail. And they are super bomber straps, they're all metal components, no plastic, no elastic, nothing to break. And all of this is available at Moscow.com. All everything here is available at Moscow.com. Yep. That's all we don't sell, we don't have any dealerships or any distributors, we just sell direct through directly. Directly, okay. And I will show you one additional feature to this bag that's really cool. Um, this bag when you take it off the bike, on the back, we have a stash pocket here. Check this. See this zippers open like that, and we have backpack straps to come oh, out. Oh, so you take it with you? Yeah, you can take it with you. So it turns into a really comfortable backpack. Those come out like that. It's got an internal frame. It's got padding on the back, and then these these straps uh, buckles just go through these loops. Yeah, that's good because if you're gonna have some personal items there, like you know the password or documents or whatever, you might want to take that with you. You might, for whatever and, reason. And it, you know, we originally designed this uh, so for people who are riding alone, if they break down and they have to hike out, they have a place to put all their food and shelter right. and stuff like that. Because it's a real backpack. It's not going to make them uncomfortable for right. a long hike. But it's also really handy if you're trying to get all your stuff into a hotel room in one trip. Like sure. let's say you're in another country, you don't want to leave stuff on the bike yep. that could get lifted. So you want to get everything inside the hotel in one right. trip. So this thing actually turns into a really comfortable little backpack. It's got an adjustable sternum strap. Like that. And you just adjust it like a normal backpack. Let me see the back. Yeah. Oh, nice. And you're set up. So, nice. that's the uh, backcountry duffel. That's pretty Oscar good. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time and showing us all of this. Or again, you can find this at Moscow.com. Uh, tell me about the, the warranty. What's, what kind of warranty? We do lifetime come? warranty. Lifetime warranty. Yeah, okay. all our sewn, our sewn good, our sewn seam items are all lifetime. Our welded seam items are all two years. Okay, perfect. And this is part of the equipment that we'll be using for the um, the Rubicon Trail that we're gonna run with this Euro, and it's loaded with the best of the best of the. Um, uh, accessories available for motorcycles on the market today. This was live from the Orland Expo. Thank you for watching, guys.